Hello, my loves. I'm about to watch episode nine of season five of Orphan Black, the pentultimate episode of the final season. I cannot believe that we are down to the final two episodes. I am very nervous going into this episode, given what happened in the last one. The last one was heartbreaking enough, but going into this one knowing I'm going to have to watch everyone find out about what happened, specifically Felix and Sarah, I just... I know it's gonna hurt. I am so dreading reliving this loss through everyone else as they find out, and I just am not ready for the pain, but here we are. I guess let's just get into it. Boop! Oh, Helena. Um, inappropriate. Again. Yeah. Matija, kad tebe zalušila, znala je što tebi čor duši. Tebe budu vsi znati. How is that her fault? Helena's <laughs> hair origin story. I wonder why they didn't get the um, little Charlotte girl to do this scene, though. Some of you know what we've been through more than others. But you all knew S didn't go anywhere without a fight. And that fight was for all of us, her family. Okay, well, they skipped the parts that I was most dreading them finding out. That would have been really painful. I kind of wish we did get to see it, but... Before she was taken. <laughs> Hello, it's all right. I got it. Just remember, my loves. Death is nothing at all. I have only slipped into the next room. You can call me by my old familiar name. Put no sorrow in your tone. I promise we will laugh at this difficult parting when we meet again. All my love, S. I can't even begin to process Siobhan. I, I can't imagine what Sarah's going through. God, she found her own mother. Felix says she hasn't even cried yet. She's probably just trying to be strong for Kira. Mm. We'll pick her back up. Yeah, I have mixed feelings because part of me is happy I didn't have to see it, but part of me feels like they should have shown Sarah finding her. I don't know. I guess that's morbid, but I just, I don't know. The letter was clear. I don't care. She could have done something to stop it. Yo, Sarah, I want you to know that what I did, the 
sacrifice was for my family too. So whatever you need, however, whenever, Oh, no one knows that Helena's been taken yet, right? All right. Okay, so Sister Arena's gonna tell her. Hey, I think she wants you. Sister Arena, you all right? Oh no. Okay, I'm inside the cervix, separating the membranes. No! We need to get this done in a hurry. There are too many people looking for us. What about Gracie? Be patient, Mark. After the birth, she'll join us. Mark, what the fuck? My dear child, so this is where I finally find you. I've been searching for so long. My name is Tomas. And I'm going to take care of you. You don't know how special you are. Gracie came to see her. How did she find her? Helena wouldn't have kept in contact with that Bible thumping little traitor. All we know is that they're both gone. They're grabbing Helena just as her babies are coming to term. He wants cord blood, the, the mutation for himself and then and then to exploit. Are they taking her to the island, Kasima? Uh, we don't know what's going on out there anymore. We know someone who might. Oh, you mean Rachel? No. Then what do you want to do? Kira's lost her grandma. So you need to be here with her? Hey, hey. I got this, Sarah. I can't sit still, so I gotta come with you. Don't move, Rachel. Felix, I'm sorry for your loss. <sighs> they took Helena to the island, presumably. I wouldn't be so certain. Why? What the fuck, Mark? I need to be sharp. We've got work to do. After this, find our Katib and continue your cleanup. Those of us who are left are behind you, 100%. Why? Look at him. Huh? Oh, God. That scared me. <laughs> Good. Ooh, why would you be behind him? Well, let's uh, have some twins, shall we? Sarah she can't even say that she lost her mom you know she was like Kira's lost her grandma I need to be here for her but like Sarah you lost your mom I don't think she's capable of feeling that yet Siobhan knew what she was getting into Felix shut your bleeding mouth and get back to Helena why not the island it's not safe there for him anymore his subjects have rebelled and abandoned him. Powerful people have been exposed, and they're vengeful. So you're running from them too? Good luck. Yeah, you can barely walk. Okay, Felix. <laughs> Boom, roasted. <laughs> the anger went AWOL. Detective Anger, that is who I would pick. She's devoted to the cause. I'm coming with you. You're staying here. What for? To make yourself useful. Here's an old friend to make sure you do. Hey. 
Hello, Rachel. I love Scotty. Felix? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Uh, fine. What have you found? We think Anger's the one who took Helena. Evil bitch. They want you next. Interpol just took over two fresh murder cases from us. This Neolution thing. You want to tell me how you're connected? Not really. So you have no idea how wrapped up in this she is? No, I don't. But I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Now sit your ass down. Lieutenant. I don't know what you know. You could be the illusion yourself. But I have to gamble that you're still police like me. We've done all we can, naturally. It's just a matter of time. No dilation from the membrane sweep. As soon as it happens, we're ready. No, I can't wait. Cut them out. A C-section will have unpredictable epigenetic effects on our prime subjects. We need a natural birth. You can hold on a little longer. Oh, can I? If you want C-section, I want hormone induction. John, do it, Virginia! Let me out. No, please. Let me out. Filthy, oh. dirty copulators. Do you touch yourself, too? Tell me about the copies. They rock the earth. Well, the original is at home with God. I protect her from science devils. Well, welcome back. We're going to start a Pitocin drip, Helena. That'll induce labor. He makes you do this. Like he made you kill Gracie. You are his puppy dog. <laughs> The more you resist, the harder it will be on these babies. Don't make this more difficult than it already is. Well, I don't like that look. Two Neo board members found dead. Ian Van Leer? They're covering their tracks. Yeah. And Anger's in there stitching me up to Interpol right now. Luckily, my boss isn't in on it. He wants me to keep digging on the DL. Van Leer? And then who's the other body? Francine Bernard. She was in charge of alternative facts. Alternative facts. That's what the board is for. Insulation. OK, I got two more. Uh, Siong Pak found hanging in her office. Mm -hmm. And Jules Martin reported missing by his wife. OK. So that leaves three board members alive, including Al Khatib. He may know John's plans. Where can we find him, Rachel? You can eliminate the board, John, but we still need protection. We'll get it. We have the mutation, the fountain of youth. What we don't need are old liabilities. Put him down. He's the sole remaining caster. Yes, his loyalties lie with a dead girl. It's always been you and I with the strength to act. I have to assume that Mark doesn't know about Gracie yet, or does he? I wish they would tell me one way or the other. I told them nothing. I will tell them nothing. We need assurances of our own. Get your hands in the air! Now! I have broken no laws, Detective. Sit your ass back down in that chair. And I have a permit for this gun. Uh... Don't test me. Don't test me! Also, go art. <laughs> this can't fall on you. I'm fine. Bullshit. He's not fine. This only illusion investigation now includes me. 
And this sure as hell wasn't line of duty. You did what you had to do. The only thing that matters now is getting Elena back. I don't know anything. I swear I don't know where he's hiding her. Well, your friend Rachel wants to be sure. Aw, that was probably the first time Art's ever killed someone. I mean, I know he's a cop, but the way his voice was shaking and stuff. Grace is thinking of becoming a dental hygienist. And you? I thought about being a teacher, you know. Is that maybe? But, uh, <laughs> you gotta go to college for that. You were always the fastest swimmer out of all your brothers. You could teach swimming while you go to school. Why am I, why am I so tired? Sometimes the vaccine causes drowsiness. Why don't you close your eyes? Take a nap. When you wake up, you'll be that much closer to Gracie. <sighs> Yeah, he doesn't know because he said Gracie's thinking about being uh, whatever, whatever, right? I'm so happy. Oh, is she killing him right now? Good night, Mom. So fucked up. I know he had turned on us and everything, but I, I hate that. Contraction. First one. Oh. Get this off her. She needs to breathe. Oh. Inhale through oh. your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Breathe, honey. Breathe. Oh. Pitocin contractions are the worst thing ever. I had two natural births and they were a breeze, but those Pitocin contractions from my first birth... I thought I was being ripped in half. Look at you. So much purpose in your mind. You are ready. I will make him proud. Dirty copies. They pervert his original. Yes. His light. I will cleanse them from this earth. Did she not know until that moment that they looked like her? Me. You're the original. I am the original. You are the light. I am the original. I am the light. Why? Why? I'm not special. I'm a copy like my sisters. You let them take your babies. Please, not mine. They need their mother. Well, that's just not true, Helena. You forget. I know who you are. A killer. You killed your own sisters. You stink like an animal. What kind of mother could you possibly be? Don't you listen to her. Oh. I told you, I don't know where he's taking the science. Her name is Helena. Fine, you shot the one person who didn't know where she is. Mr. Frontenac was there to terminate you. I know you don't like debt. That puts you squarely in ours. I see only two options for you. 
Either we hand you over to John, or we hand you over to the authorities. Third option, I pull the trigger for the second time today. Please. All I know is the person with the biggest target on her back is her. Rachel. Rachel, if he wants you so bad, I say we give you up. Contractions are strong and steady. Oh, yeah. She's an hour or two away. Good. Euthanizing Mark was a necessity. How are you feeling? I'm going for a smoke. Sir, Pachima Khatib. You are still with us. And I'd like to keep it that way. By offering you something that you value far, far more than me. And what could that possibly be? Guys, do you have any idea how insane this plan is? Do you realize how many things could go wrong? Art's on top of it, all right? We've got a tracking device on the car. They're gonna lead us right to Helena. So then what's she supposed to do when she gets to wherever they're taking her? Stole. John will want an audience with me before he cuts off my head. Sarah will have to keep him busy. Look at Rachel being part of the team. Letiti, please let's go over there. It's a crash Вы не будете теж експеримент. Я відпускаю вас на Богу. Мої діти. What? How is that helpful? How is this helpful, Helena? No, how is this helpful? If you die, they're just gonna take them out. <sighs> I don't think you'd bleed out very quickly by doing that. Art, have you got eyes on Sarah? Close. I'm right behind tracking him. Was Helena trying to kill her and her babies? Is that what she means by setting them free? Because otherwise, I think they're just going to do an emergency C-section. She's not going to bleed out that quickly. I expect he still has the authorities there in his pocket. Anger's driving past the front entrance. They've stopped to the east. They're taking her to the old wing. That's where we used to work, the bulls. He's hiding right next to Dyad as it self-destructs. Practically lived in that building. It's a converted asylum. It's basically impenetrable. But I worked security. I can get us into that wing. <laughs> yeah, you can. If Sarah can keep him ranting long enough, then we'll have a chance. You're sitting in my chair. Your turn to snip loose ends, John. Leave us. Doctor Cody, Miss, can you hear me? What's happening? Hypovolemic shock. <sighs> Jesus. Persistent fetal deceleration. What have you done? Secret. I know yours, Rachel. I know how you hide digging at your fingernails that you can't stop. I know how you constantly write letters to your biological mother who you've never met. Stop it. I know how you touch yourself in the shower. Stop it! And everything if you trusted me. Father, you've never called me that before. Oh no. 
You knew it was how I felt. Oh no. Oh no. Daughter. Sarah. Oh! Oh, Let go of me, you bitch! <laughs> Let go! I think we've had enough of this one. John, stop! I have an emergency. Helena's in trouble. She needs a compatible transfusion. I need her blood, now. Sarah, she came in as Rachel. Well, now she can save her sister. Oh God, I wish Sarah got that deeper. Well, that was easy. Live organ, paperwork, IDs. Paperwork was sent ahead, uh, ask Dr. Lin. He's just dropping off. Pediatric heart transplant, bit of a rush. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna argue with that. God, I love these two with my whole heart and soul. Helena? Lacerated radial artery, have a suture. Helena? Go check on John, he's injured. What did you do to her? She did this to herself. If you want to help save your sister, make a fist. Okay. Good. Now release. Come on, Helena. Come back to me. Come on, Maytad. Stay with me. What's that for? I have to section her. You can't cut her open. She's lost too much blood. If she's not conscious to deliver, I have no choice. Helena. Come on. Wake up. Meathead, come on. Wake up. I'm here. I'm here. Hey, she's she's awake. I'm right here. Why did you do that? Mm. Hey? Heart rate is steady. That's good. Thanks to you, we're still in business. I'm sorry, sister. Are you sure the alarm's a good idea? Yeah, I want them here. So I get first drop. Go we'll see what's happened. Listen, you get your friend and you get clear, all right? Art, I want help. Scott. You did good. Okay. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Contractions restarting. Mother. Yes. Hey, hurry. The kids there on the tray. They will come back. Uh, come on. Up, up. Oh, baby's coming. What? I did not realize we were that close to the end. Holy shit. I mean, what a setup for the finale, I guess. Them being in that room with the babies coming and Art doing his whoosh thing. I wow, okay. What an episode. As I've already said, I have mixed feelings about the beginning, how it just jumped to Mrs. S's funeral. Because on the one hand, again, part of me is glad that I didn't have to watch Sarah find her and her and Felix find out. And that initial shock and grief and everything would have been really painful to watch. And I realize in the grander scheme of things, like with only two episodes left and everything they have to get done, there really wasn't time as a show to spend on that part of things, but also like in the story, you know, it kind of mimics the fact that they don't really have time to properly process and grieve Mrs. S because there's so much going on and you know what I mean? So like I get that side of it, but the other part of me just feels like I didn't get 
time to process and grieve. I don't know. Mrs. S was just so important and something about just skipping right to her funeral and then moving on just felt wrong. I don't know. So yeah, very mixed feelings on that. I am so stressed about Helena and her babies. It breaks my heart that Helena feels like her babies deserve more than her because, I mean, yes, Helena has murdered people. She's murdered her own sestras. She's a little rough around the edges, and I actually believe Cody that she probably doesn't smell the best at all times, but she's come so far, and she has such a good heart, and we know that. It just breaks my heart because you can tell how much Helena loves her babies and how much she wants for them, and it also obviously breaks my heart what Helena did. And like, I get that she would rather be free with her babies than risk them being born and being in the hands of these monsters and being experiments to them and everything. But it's just really hard to think about her having to do that or feeling like that's her only choice. So that was really hard. But also her whole plan was just very stressful because it seemed so much more likely to me that they would find her and even if Helena was too far gone, they would, you know, emergency C-section the babies and then Helena would be dead and not there to help fight for them, you know? It, it, seemed, it seemed like a big risk that Helena was taking there. But I'm glad that Sarah was able to help save her. I'm so glad they're back together again. Oh my god, every time Sarah called her meathead, it was like a dagger to the heart. I love when she calls her that. PT is really falling apart, isn't he? He is creepy as fuck. The stuff that he was saying to Rachel? Ugh. Sir, why were you watching her in the shower, evil piece of scum? I really kind of wish that Sarah got a little bit deeper with that knife swing because if she would have just like got his throat good there, it would have been really satisfying. I mean, I, I know that we still have to get to the finale, so they've got to save some stuff. But uh, yeah, that just would have been really satisfying for sure. I've said it a million times and I'll say it once more. I love Scotty. I hope that that's the end of their job and they get out safely and are somewhere safe after this because when Scotty was saying that he wanted to help Art, I was just like really nervous for a moment because if anything happened to Scotty, I don't know if I could handle that. Art. Art. I love that man too. I felt so bad for him when he shot that guy, the way his voice was shaking and trembling and you could just tell that he's not a killer. It's not in his blood to just murder someone, you know? And we've known since the episode in the garage with uh, Evil Bitch that he's willing to, but it was kind of heartbreaking seeing him have to go through with it and do that. Even though I don't care at all about the guy that he killed, I just really felt for Art there. It broke my heart. I'm really kind of upset about Mark and Gracie. I'm kind of upset that they brought them back just to give them such an awful ending. Like, I'm really glad that Gracie, in the end, chose the right path and wasn't giving them Helena. And, like, at least she died on the right side of things, you know? Like, she got a bit of redemption before she was shot, but I didn't want her to have to die. I wish they would have just stayed out. They never came back. I don't know. I really, really, really hate Mark's ending. Like, I know he was doing a terrible thing, but the way he was so hopeful for his future with Gracie and the way that he was so damaged by his past and desperate for normalcy that he was calling Cody mom and saying how happy he was. And it was just all so fucked. I just really hate that ending for both of them. I just feel sad and stressed out. And I can't believe that we only have one episode left. I am definitely not ready. But for now, that's all for this episode. Meet me in those comments. Let's discuss. If you're watching this on YouTube, you should check out my full-length reactions on Patreon. The link is in the description box below. If you have not subscribed yet, now is a perfect time to go do that and hit that notification bell. And while you're down there, if you wouldn't mind liking this video, I'd be very grateful. And thank you all for watching. It truly is an honor that you spend your time with me. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.